Hey friend, it is Kate here. Thank you so much for joining me for day 17 of our New Year's challenge. That's right, we are on day 17. And if you are brand new here, um, this is towards the end of the challenge. If you wanna find the first class, I'll put a link right up there. However, each class is in fact standalone. You can come back at any time. Join me again if the sequence particularly spoke to you and you wanna do it again, I'd love that. Um, however, this week we are focusing pretty much on the whole body. Today I've got kind of a slow flow yoga class. This goes in a pretty gentle fashion. There is a little strength building activities or exercises throughout the class, but it'll be some wonderful big stretches for our upper body, our hips, our spine, and of course end with a lovely relaxing shavasana. So all my friends are welcome to join me today. Roll out your mat. Let's get started. Let's start in an easy seat, whatever that means for you. You can cross your legs, you could have them tucked underneath you. Just find a spot where you can pause. If you feel comfortable with it, close your eyes. Take a moment and pretend I am standing behind you. I grabbed hold of both of your ears and I physically pulled them up to the sky. As you lift it up a little higher through the top of the head, did the shoulders rise with you? Can you gently let them fall down the back and almost open them up a little broader? Take a big deep inhale through your nose. Easy sigh out the mouth. Again, great big inhale. Exhale, let it go. One more breath here. And release. Seal the lips together, begin breathing through your nose. Flutter your eyes open, take a big sip of air in and reach your fingertips up to the sky. Exhale, flip the palms, push them down. Again, big inhale, reach the hands high overhead. Exhale, lower them down. This next time, reach the hands high overhead and pause. Lightly rotate your pinkies towards one another, lift up to the rafters more. Drop your right hand down and take a big stretch over to the right. Notice, did your left hip climb away from the mat? Can you soften it down? Can you stack the shoulders, almost kissing the tips of the shoulder blades together? Take a big inhale. As you exhale, a little forward fold over the legs. Roll yourself up to seated. Same thing other side, both hands lift high. Drop one hand, lift the other, big stretch over. Oh, that feels particularly good for me today. You can always stay in a spot longer if it is just hitting the right place in your body. Big inhale. Exhale, a little seated forward fold. Roll yourself up. Now again, take both hands high. This time, little twist to the right. Right hand back, left hand forward. If you do the opposite, it's okay. If it feels too much to keep your hands wide, you could take one down, one to your thigh. Even if that doesn't feel too much, sometimes it's nice to grab hold and take that twist a little bit deeper if you so choose. Unravel, swim your hands up high overhead. Exhale, twist in the opposite direction. This time for me, that's my left hand back, right hand forward. Lift up and out of the waist. And again, perhaps we drop our hands down to our thigh and the mat. Maybe you take that as an opportunity to go a little deeper. And then unravel, bring your hands to the fronts of your shins and start a seated cat and cow. Just push your sternum forward, push it back, lightly reaching forward and back at your own pace. Hopefully this just feels good. A seated cat and cow is such a simple way to kind of wake up our body, to say hello to ourselves. Now push your chest forward, pause, and start to circle it to the right. We'll go around to the right for about three times or so. And if your hips lift off the ground in this little circle, it's okay. Not the end of the world if they're not totally planted on the ground, that's fine. Now pause center and swivel in the opposite direction, whatever way that was for you. Just waking up the body, saying hello to yourself. One more time around. Come on back center, pause. Navel to spine, head lifts high. Take a great big breath in here. 
Now exhale, flip your palms, press them down in front of you. Envision that there's a tabletop in front of your arms. Press down into that tabletop, slide the fingertips further away. At the same time, wrap the tips of the shoulder blades together. Drop your right hand lower than your left and give yourself a hug. Give yourself a hug on the other side. Lift the elbows up, pause. We're gonna do some shoulder protraction and retraction here. I want you to push your elbows forward, parting the space behind your body, and then pull the shoulders back. So I reach my shoulders forward, almost caving my chest in, and because of that, my elbows go forward, and then I bring my shoulders back, my elbows come closer to my body. Once or twice more, just like that, just finding the mobility in your arms. And then pause, and this is kind of silly, but circle your elbows around. This might feel similar from the very start of the challenge. We're not doing the full bind at the moment. Take it in the other direction. And then let that go, shake it out. Reach your hands up overhead. Again, flip them, press them down in front of you just like we did this time. Left hand lower, give yourself a hug, give yourself a hug. We'll take that same thing, shoulder protraction and retraction. And it's really kind of just keeping the elbows at the same height the whole time. Again, it's like there's a table there and you're sliding your elbows across the table and pulling them back in, allowing your shoulder blades to move in the back of the body. And then go ahead and circle your elbows around. Take them in the other direction. And then pause, let that go, shake it out. Wiggle anything you need to. We're going to rise into a kneeling position. And we're not gonna be on our knees too, too long, but we are going to step forward into a small lunge. Now this is a tiny lunge to begin with. More importantly than anything is trying to begin with your knee right over your ankle. If that feels too much and you need to make it even smaller, it's okay. If we don't wanna be in here, it's fine too. But otherwise, I'm gonna take my right hand to my right thigh. Push up and away. Now imagine you've got that belt around the small of your waist. Everything is lightly cinching inward, so we're activating the muscles from all directions. I want you to squeeze Squeeze your thut, that thigh butt connection point, on your left leg, the one that's kind of behind you, and maybe crawl your toes a little further forward and perhaps drop into a bigger lunge. If that feels too much because it's the beginning of class, it's okay. Reach your left hand high. Again, rotate your pinky in, lift up and away from the ground. Take a big deep inhale, big breath out. Inhale, lift a little higher. As you exhale, a small stretch over to your right side. Bring both hands back up to the sky. Rotate both pinkies in, lift up a little higher. Take a big inhale. Exhale, cinch your waist, tone your tummy, and push your hands down side to side. Pretend there's a table right here. Press down into your table. Take a big inhale. Now as you exhale, I want you to take a twist. Right hand goes back, left hand goes forward. As we twist, we're going to think about our oblique muscles, those side tummy muscles that help keep us kind of lifted. As you exhale, you're going to twist, wringing out the spine. Inhale, pull yourself back. Two more exhale, twist, pull yourself back. Last one, twist. Use your oblique muscles, those side tummy muscles, to pull you over and pause. Now flip the palms so they're facing away from your body. Hug an imaginary wall, slide your fingers further apart. This time take a great big inhale, hands overhead. If we can, drop your hands around your foot and come down to into a little anjaneyasana, a lower lunge. You might crawl your toes a little further forward. Now for me to take pressure off my kneecap, the more I press into the top of my foot, it's almost like I'm trying to lift my knee up so I'm not jamming it down into the ground, the better that feels in my own body. Arriving here in our little lunge, you might take a sway side to side. That can feel pretty darn nice. You might even try and push your pubic bone lightly forward towards your heel, kind of rock it back. And then no hurry, no rush. Go ahead and bring both knees back. We can be as awkward, as graceful as we need to. Give your hips a little sway, a little wiggle. And then we'll step our opposite foot forward. So starting with our small little lunge, knee right over your ankle, opposite, or I'm sorry, your left hand, the same hand as your bent knee on your left thigh, and reach your hand high. 
Now, like we did on the other side, let's start by cinching the waist in, activating the muscles from all directions, not just sucking into the front of the tummy. Rotate your pinky inward, lift up and out of the waist, squeeze your thut on your right side, maybe crawl your toes forward to deepen the lunge if we want to. Again, we're gonna slowly get down into that anjaneyasana, that lowest lunge, but if it's too much to even crawl the toes forward here, it's okay. Press into the top of your left thigh to lift your fingers up and then take a big stretch over to the left. Kiss the tips of the shoulder blades together. It's really easy to kind of curl and look down, but we're still facing forward, opening up across our chest. Pull yourself up, both hands lift high. Flip the palms, press them down so they're like a great big T. Envision there's a table underneath you. Press down into the table, activating your arms. Take a big deep inhale. Now exhale, we'll take our twist. <sighs> inhale, unravel. Now every time you twist, think about cinching the waist more, using our side tummy muscles to help guide us over to the left and then back to center. Exhale, twist over to the left. Inhale, back to center. Last one, twist over to the left, pause. Lift up and out of the waist, squeeze your thut. Maybe flip the palms, reaching your fingers further and further away. And now both hands lift high. Place your hands around your foot. Again, if we want to, we might crawl our toes further forward, dropping our knee, um, sorry, not our knee, dropping our pubic bone a little closer to the ground, pressing into our foot to relieve pressure from our knee. And again, we can find some mobility. Maybe it feels nice to take a little sway side to side to kind of lean forward a little bit more. Oh, that feels really good right there to me today. I'm feeling a little tight myself, friends. No hurry, no rush. Take all the time you need. And then eventually, Go ahead, bring your legs back together. Knees can be together or apart, but push back into a child's pose. Curl your fingertips further away from the body. Let your head fall to the mat. Take a big full inhale. Great big breath out. Another big inhale. Exhale, maybe let your hips sink a little lower. One more breath. And relax. Go ahead, rise to your tabletop, broaden across your chest. Remember, we can always drop down to our forearms if we need to. You can use some little rounded um, blocks if you like, or we can always skip our tabletop. But pull the navel to spine, broaden across the chest. Take a big inhale, big breath out, and then reach your right foot away from you. Now notice, did we let our left hip kind of, I'm sorry, that's our right hip. Did we let our right hip lift up? I hope not. As much as we can, keep it in line. Grow long from the top of your head, through your body, out your toe. Take a big inhale. As you exhale, pull the knee to nose, round forward. <sighs> inhale, straighten and lengthen. Exhale, pull the knee to nose, round forward. <sighs> inhale, straighten and lengthen. Two more, curl in. Reach out, last one in, reach out, pause. Now instead of just bringing our knee directly in towards our nose, we're gonna bring it out to the side of our body, getting into our oblique muscles again. So this next time, instead of curling in, I'm going to keep my body nice and straight, but I'm going to pull my knee up towards my right elbow and then push it away. Exhale, pull the knee up to the right elbow, Push it away. Now, of course, we're getting lots of activation in our glutes, in our hips. And I also really want you to think about your right oblique, your right side tummy muscle, helping to guide the thigh in. One more time, exhale, pull forward. <sighs> Inhale, reach back, pause. Flex your foot, set it on the ground. Push your heel back for a little stretch to the back of the calf muscle. It might feel lovely to stay here. You might round and drop the head down, getting a little stretch to the back of the neck. And then slowly let that go. Pull your knee in. Wiggle anything out you want to. And then from here, lift up and away. No Beyonce booties. Pull the navel to spine. Reach your right foot away. I'm sorry, that's your left foot. Rights and lefts are hard, friends. Opposite foot away. Send your head further forward, reach your toe further back. Trim your waist like your belt got tighter and we're activating those muscles from all around. Big sip of air in. Exhale, pull knee to nose. 
Inhale away. Exhale, pull knee to nose. About three more at your own pace. You might go slower or faster. You might do a few more or a few less than I am, and it is perfectly fine. You are here to be kind and good to your own body, to feel strong and confident with each little move we do. Last one, no matter wherever you are, curl in, cinch the waist, use your abdominal muscles, and then squeeze your thud as you pull it out. Now we're gonna do that little side guy again. So big deep breath. Exhale, pull knee towards your left elbow. <sighs> Inhale, reach it away. Now, like we thought about on the other side, as soon as I begin to pull my knee up towards my elbow, I cinch my waist more, and I really think about my left oblique, that left side tummy, helping to guide my knee in and reach my leg away. Each time I strain the leg behind me, I squeeze my thigh harder, activating all of the muscles in the leg behind me. Last one, pull it forward, reach it back, pause, lift up and away from the mat, take a big inhale, set your knee down. Again, knees can be together or apart, maybe do the opposite, but tip back into your child's pose, let your head be heavy. Big full inhale, great big breath out. Come on up to hands and knees, we're going to lower down onto our tummy. You can get there however you need to. Now. At first, we're going to concentrate on the back of our body or the lower portion of our body to make sure that we don't dump into our low back. The first thing I want you to do is drive your pubic bone into the mat. Pull your navel away from the ground. Keep that feeling of squeezing your thut so hard you could hold a pencil between your glute and your hamstring. And I want you to actively reach each foot further away, trying to flatten out the front part of your body, almost like you're trying to eliminate any sort of crease that would occur right there. Now that we've got our lower body working hard, keep pressing into your feet, your pubic bone, take your hands by your sides and pull your elbows towards one another. After you pull the elbows towards one another, almost push them back to your heels. Hopefully that helped allow our shoulders to slide down the back and to find a little more openness through the very top of your neck. Pretend I'm at the front edge of your mat. I'm holding onto your ears and I'm pulling your ears forward. At the same time, you're still hugging the elbows and pushing them back. Now, big inhale, roll the shoulders up. Find a tiny baby cobra. Are you arching your back? There's obviously some spinal extension going on, but keep pressing into the pubic bone, lifting the belly button up and in. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, roll the shoulders, hug the elbows towards one another, shine your heart up. Exhale, tone the tummy as you pull down. Two more. Inhale, little roll up. Hug the elbows towards one another. Broaden across your neck. Exhale, lower down. This last time, roll up and pause. Now, do you see I'm not looking up at the camera because if I did, I would be craning my neck. That's not good. If you're looking kind of down at your mat and pushing your head forward, it's usually the best for our neck. Press into your feet more. Pull your belly button up and in. Maybe lift up just a hint higher and then lower all the way down to the ground. Take your hands by your face and take a little windshield wiper side to side. Now, for this next little guy, we're gonna take our hands down by our sides. If that feels too much and we want them by our sides for support, that's great. But we're going to reach our hands away from us, palms facing up to the sky, lower body still doing all the active work we did before. Pubic bone down, belly button in, squeeze your thut, hold your pencil there. This time, roll the shoulders, lift the heart and chest up, pause, if we can. Hover your fingertips up and away and reach your fingertips towards the heels behind you, opening up across your chest. Big inhale. Exhale, lower down. Drop your right cheek to the mat. Take a great big breath. Big sigh out. Point your nose down. Feet into the mat. Pubic bone to the, into the mat as well. Squeeze your thut, cinch your waist. Roll the shoulders, float the hands or the heart, the chest up, maybe the hands follow. If we want to this time, think about squeezing your inner thighs towards one another, pulling the navel in, and maybe lifting our feet up. If that feels too much, it's okay. Take a great big breath. Exhale, drop your opposite cheek to the mat. Now, I'm not gonna do that because my mic would get crushed, so I'm gonna look the same way, but you look opposite to even out your neck. Fabulous.
Now, one final time, we're gonna do our locus. If you have the range of motion, if you wanna try, you can clasp the hands behind you. Now, I have short little arms, so my hands don't fully touch. I actually keep a little bit of space between the heels of my hands. You actually might be able to, that's okay. Our proportions are all different, remember. Pubic bone down, belly button up and in, big inhale. Big breath out. Now inhale, start to roll the chest up. Maybe we keep our elbows wide like mine are now. Maybe you start to straighten the arms. You might even be able to lift your hands away from your booty. Belly button in. If there is tension in your back, pause, stop, come back down. If we can go deeper, squeeze the inner thighs, lift up. Great, big, full inhale. Exhale, let everything go. Again, drop one cheek to the mat. Take a little windshield wiper side to side. From here, we're going to lie on our back. So take a moment to come on up. Lie on your back. Plant your feet into the floor. Take your hands away from your body. Notice, do we naturally arch? We're going to imprint. Even though this is our yoga class, we want our low back touching the mat. Open up across your chest. Point your nose to the sky. Drop your heels deep into the floor beneath you. Feel your lumbar spine, that lowest portion of your back, open up. Are your shoulders caving in? Can we keep them open? Press down into your heels. Inhale, rise into your bridge pose. Take a great big breath. Exhale from the sternum, roll right back down. Inhale, lift up, rise into your bridge pose. Exhale, roll all the way down. One more time, lift into your bridge pose and pause. Now this is kind of funny, but we're gonna make little robot arms off to the side. I want you to press down through the backs of your arms. It's almost like you're trying to jam your elbows through the mat. As you do so, maybe lift your chest up a little bit higher. Unlike a lot of our Pilates classes where I'm very focused on keeping your hips and your whole body in one long line. In our, pilot, or in our yoga class, we can kind of open up across our chest and find more of a back bend if that feels good. If it doesn't, it's okay. I am pressing deep, deep, deep into the back side of my arms. I am pointing my nose up to the sky, keeping as much space between my chin and my chest. I am definitely squeezing my thigh. Pretend there's a little ball between your inner thighs. Give that ball a gentle squeeze and lift the hips up maybe a hint higher. Take a great big inhale. Big breath out. <sighs> Open your elbows wide. Roll one vertebra at a time all the way down. Now we're gonna repeat that once more, maybe with a little bit of a deeper back bend if we want to. I'm gonna start with my elbows in my little um, robot shape. Shoulders back, elbows down. Lift the hips, find the top of your bridge. Now again, maybe this is enough for us. You have a few options. We could take the clasp of our hands beneath us and kind of roll our shoulders puffing up. Like I said, I've got short arms, so that does not feel super pleasant to me. What I like to do when I want a deeper back bend is I press into the backs of my arms a little bit more, and then I kind of slide my hands underneath my hips, giving myself a little extra support. Now, if that does not work for you, it's okay. And again, I have I happen to have kind of short arms, so maybe this doesn't work as well for your body if you have probably more normally proportioned arms than I do, but that's okay either way. Take a big inhale no matter where you are. Exhale, let that go. Roll all the way down to the ground. Heel toe your feet wider than your hips. Take your hands out to a T, knock the knees towards one another. As you can see, mine don't actually touch because I have very little internal rotation. But we're going to take a nice, easy windshield wiper side to side. If you get a few pops in your low back, know that I am too. But those always feel good to me. Come on back center. Heel toe the feet back towards one another. Again, press into your heels, imprint your spine, reach your hands high over your head. Stretch from your side body through your spine, out your fingertips, take a big inhale. Exhale, let that go. Pull your right knee into your chest, give it a hug, give it a squeeze, circle the right knee around. Take it in the other direction. 
Maybe hug it closer towards your right armpit, your right shoulder. You can elongate the left leg on the mat if that feels nice. I pretend someone is holding my left foot, pulling it away as I pull my knee up, making more space through the front of my hips. Take a big inhale. Set your right foot back down on the mat, pull your left knee in. Same thing, start with a little hug, little squeeze. Oh, that feels really good there. Swivel it around, wiggle, move, do your thing. And then again, pull it in, reach it out and away. And I am sending my right toe towards the wall away from me as I pull my left knee higher up closer towards my shoulder, big inhale. Let both legs go. Just lay flat on your mat. Hopefully you're not running into things like I am. Take your hands off to the side. If it feels better to have one on your heart, one on your stomach, go for it. Close your eyes. Big inhale through the nose. Big breath out the mouth. Again, great big inhale. Nice big sigh out. One more time. Let it go. Seal your lips together. Bring a feeling of pride into your body. Think about all you've accomplished so far in this challenge. Think about all you've accomplished today on your mat. And just treasure that moment that feeling of gratitude. Gratitude, pride, and love for your body. Take a big inhale through your nose. Big sigh out the mouth. Wiggle the toes, the fingers, blink the eyes open. Walk your feet in. Take a little roll to the side. Pull yourself up to a seat. As always, a pat on the back. Thank yourself for doing something so good and just for you. I am so proud of you. I am so happy you've made it this far with me and I cannot wait to see you tomorrow.